Jill Martin joins us tonight. Jill, happy Thanksgiving to you, and I know where you are on Thursday night. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to you. And yes, during that wild snowstorm Thursday night, it was opening night of the Radio City Christmas Spectacular starring the Rockettes, an iconic night every year. But the real star of the show comes pre-show, when one of our Garden of Dreams Foundation pals gets her perform in front of a sold-out crowd. This year, I'd like you to meet the fabulous Max Resnick. Take a look. He was born with both legs broken, skull broken, and then the horror started. He was breaking every week, every hour. He would just get up from the bed, lean on the arm, break the arm. He would get up, lean on the leg, break the leg. And then it was like leaving with a ticking bomb. You don't know when it's gonna happen. We used to go on vacation with full suitcase of casting material, splinting material, morphine, you know, until we had surgeries, until he was getting medication for his bone density. He started singing because his lung collapsed and he almost died when he was three months. Yeah, I jumped into the Columbia Presbyterian with him not breathing. Yeah, we made it. We, we got in the car, we drove to the hospital, and I remember myself. I'll be fine in a few minutes. I'm just getting that child. He was dead. And they had to resuscitate him. I just got a flashback. So anyway, they told me that he's not gonna make it and they told me to call all of the relatives that he's not gonna make it. And uh, he made it. You know, I was praying God every day. And then I came in and then I remember nurse running toward me and she said that he started breathing on his own. Of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing what I know from him now. He's a fighter. He is like a trooper, I would say. You guys seem like really good pals. Oh, well, <laughs> that depends. Yeah, On the it day? It depends. Yeah. You must be pretty proud of him, huh? Yeah, and he makes me smile. Aww. Aww. When I'm upset, he gets upset because no. I cry. Yes, and then when he gets upset, I cry. Yeah. When he when he gets a fracture, I cry because I feel bad for him. La, la, la. It's almost a new song. <laughs> it's called La. Tell me about what music has done for you. It made my lungs better. That's one thing. To the dramatic music. <laughs> what do you think that they asked you to perform on opening night of the Radio City Christmas Spectacular? Do you know how big that is? Yes, I do. Have you been able to sort of relish in that? I still can't comprehend it. <laughs> the breathing that he has to do while singing is actually acting as medicine. We recently did lung capacity test. It's completely recovered. Wow. It's like healing for my family to see what's happening with him right now. And now, this beautiful opening night of the holiday season, the most celebratory time of year, your son, who you just told me about. I couldn't believe it when I found out. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I can't believe it's my Max. I feel like, let me tell you how I feel. I, I was like, I'm so proud to have a son like this. I feel like here, it's my son. Everybody, look at him. Right. Everybody, what he look at what he became. Look what he can do. If he can do it, everybody can do it. And we know you're going to crush it. And we are so excited to watch you again. And I think you just rock. Thank you. Cue the happy music. <laughs> Cue the happy music. <laughs> So tell me about the tux. It's black and white. But like, we're picking out a tuxedo, but they all look the same to me. And my mom had to pick one out because she had a 
Fashion sense. You're totally ready to go tonight. I know this has been a lot for you too. I'm a little nervous, but we're all ready. Oh, yay! So now, please welcome my pal Max singing "Somewhere Over the Rainbow." If someone would give me another chance and tell me that there is a possibility not to have Max and have another healthy child, I would say no. And the main thing I think that me and my husband are very, very fortunate to have Max in our life. If happy little blue but fly be beyond the rainbow, I, oh, I can I. And as expected, Max got a standing ovation. And I know, Max, and your family, you're watching now. We want to thank you for sharing your beautiful story and allowing us to come into your home. So inspiring. And we loved spending time with you. And I want to share with everyone at home, Elena shared with me Max's prognosis. She said, doctors say he will stop breaking or break less after the age of 16, will have a normal lifespan, and she hopes to have him walking with just a cane. And she told me twice she's looking forward to a wedding one day. An incredible family, Al. Jill, as always, great job with Thank the Garden you. of Dreams.